Welcome back to Manum Christian Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today, where I recorded some Pablo's You earlier today, actually, and I was actually going to talk about it because I had a moment of sort of like self reflection after playing a bit of a Pablo's You recording these videos. These videos you won't see for ages, by the way. They're going up like at the start of June, I think. I mean, actually, I can see what part they are. Part 48 and 49, and also a bit of part of 46 and 47, where basically, I suppose, mild spoilers for Barbara's You, but you, you know, it was bound to happen eventually. I suppose you just don't know, like, at what speed. And I actually don't know what. What, what 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 episode are we on in Barbara's You? I don't really know what we're on right now or where I am. But uh, basically, I'm going through past levels which um, I got stuck on before, but I'm not going to spoil any of those levels. But anyway, hello there, everyone. Right now, in Fawn Hunt, it's 4.52 pm on Tuesday, May 17, 2022. Now, I had an interesting moment of sort of self reflection um, after Barbara's You. Well, basically, um, I, I apologise. Like, I, I start getting like, not like, I'm not going to say like I get annoyed like you because if i say annoyed you're gonna imagine that you're gonna hear me in the video just going like oh this like, game sucks i hate this game everything like that no it's more just like me and I'd, I'd start to talk very meta about the fact that um obviously these levels are very difficult and i'm trying to sort of um i'm, try I'm trying to think how to phrase this um these levels are very difficult because these are ones which i cannot solve on the first pass through um the actual campaign and i had to go back to try and do them so obviously these are levels which i inherently find far more difficult um, than the average level or at the time when i solved it or attempted to solve it i could not figure out a relevant solution or something like that so fair enough that it, it's fair to establish that these levels are harder for me than the other levels probably <laughs> um but it, basically i was starting to get into some sort of like meta talks where i'm just sort of like um basically to try and get these levels like done a, a lot of the time instead of um recording myself thinking about the levels i will think i will I record my like attempts at the levels and then um i will think about them basically off camera trying to come up with things to try it next time i record an episode or um solution potential solutions next time and i was sort of just like talking sort of more metally about that being like isn't it i find it actually you know kind of frustrating that i have to well not that i have to do it like this but that it has has ended up like this because you know with puzzle games um really a lot of the joy from it comes from that sort of eureka moment when someone when you find out um what uh, the solution to the puzzle is and I felt like you know I was talking from a meta sense but it's making it a, a very uninteresting I suppose series to watch in that sense because I'm just like you know you're watching probably these, me solving these puzzles to try and see when I get that eureka moment see how I react to these sort of things but when I'm doing a lot of my thinking especially with these harder levels off camera like I'm not recording myself thinking about it and you know that's just how I choose to record my videos because again I'm not going to edit my videos um and I can't just sit here and record like four hours of Babu's You every single day to try and um, try and get uh, to a solution. So it's sort of just like this is a, a compromise. I see you replace it with a legitimate bust of an FTT with a fake one. Um, but I was talking about how it was getting like I felt like it was a bit ups not upsetting necessarily, but I was like it was not going to be fun to watch um, a situation of me just being like oh you know I'm I'm so I'm sort of getting those aha eureka moments off camera rather than on camera for Baba's You and it made me sort of reflect about things because you know Baba's You uh, I've often said was Baba's You is my favorite puzzle game of all time and it hasn't changed after playing that but I'm, I'm starting to feel like because obviously the first time I played Baba's You I wasn't doing it for a uh, YouTube recording I wasn't doing it for my YouTube channel or anything so there was no sort of there's no part of me which was like I need to make this entertaining I suppose while I'm while I'm also playing this at the same time I could play at my own pace you know I could spend like three months have a three month gap or something between playing um playing Bad Bros U I can like I can spend just like six hours or not, maybe not six hours but like I, I would spend my recreational time playing it and without any sort of need to have to like commentate over the top I can you know choose and to spend like 10 minutes on something or like even like a couple of hours in a row if I really had the time to spare for it at that moment um but this time is different you know now I'm actually playing the band level I'm actually recording it for YouTube channel it's I'm, I'm starting to come at it with a much more me sort of meta not meta perspective in the level but sort of um a content creator I suppose sort of mindset where I'm just like I'm doing this you know obviously I want to enjoy the game firstly but also a secondary objective I have in mind is to make it entertaining so often I had to try and try my best to keep sort of like an ongoing commentary going even though a lot of times it's actually quite difficult <laughs> as well so it's not the easiest thing in the world to continuously um, think about talking things while also trying to compute how to solve a difficult puzzle at the same time and I was wondering I was like I wonder if I'm sort of like hampering my own enjoyment of these um of Bad Rose by the fact I'm trying to like force it into like um, a recording series <laughs> because it's it's not often where it's basically like before when i played barbara's of course i could just like sit for ages just like on a level just staring at it not doing anything but now i'm having to having to try to actively do something in this half an hour and only a half hour time slot basically and then have to think about things 
of the level off camera. So it's sort of like, um, I, I guess the, the, the sort of my own Eureka, meta Eureka moment that I came to is that I'm sort of like d detaching my Eureka moment from the actual game itself. And then it's sort of fading in both quantities in a sort of way of like making, it's not making me enjoy the game less, but it's making it feel weird and a little bit different, I suppose. It's sort of like, um, d -bell, sure, why not? Because I'm getting a lot of a Eureka moments, especially in these harder levels, I'm getting them off camera, which, you know, I talked about in the videos, which is why I say they, they seem a bit more negative, I think, than some of the, some earlier videos, which I apologise for, it's not really my intention. But I was expressing my frustration with it, where I was like, I'm getting these Eureka moments, which I feel like are always really interesting to, you know, hear and watch, you know, someone just go, oh, I get this level now. It was like, oh, this is what I've been missing. A lot of this I'm getting like off camera, <laughs> which I, yeah, I was expressing my frustration. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I wish I was recording all this time to actually get it on camera. But, you know, if I was recording all the time, then I maybe I wouldn't even get the Eureka moment because I'd be too focused on trying to, you know, also make it entertaining at the same time. It's like this weird disconnect. As well, with the fact that the Eureka moment I'm getting is not while I'm actually playing the game itself. It's while I'm thinking about it sort of like, subconsciously, which I haven't had to really do as much of the initial battle as you. And I suppose it's a, a different sort of situation, because obviously it's harder to solve problems while you're recording things. Um, well, for most people, for me, for me at least, compared to just, you know, sitting down and thinking in silence and speaking only when I need to. Like what I experienced with the first battle as you. Um, so most of the Eureka moments I got from Bavisu, there are very few times when the first time I've played through Bavisu where I got the Eureka moment not while also actively trying to play the level at the same time. Um, it's just like, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing necessarily, it's just a different thing because I, I, I've chosen, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I do love making these videos and, and commentating at the same time. It was just something weird to get used to because I hadn't had this experience with uh, other puzzle games I've played before. Like, and I think, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's more like because, um, I don't think, with Oberdin, there were very few moments where I had Eureka moments off camera. There, there was like a couple, but that's, it didn't really feel like it was off camera. It was because I got those Eureka moments while watching myself play through Oberdin again, because I was like, I knew I must have missed something. And it's okay because watching for Oberdin, it's not like as an interactive thing. A lot of Oberdin is about observation and sort of putting, linking things together. So it's a lot easier to sort of solve things while also watching it. Or Babu's is not a little bit harder to do that way. Snakebird. Snake Bird, I definitely had a couple of things which were Eureka moments off camera, but I think the majority of them were on camera. Um, it's just, it's weird with Babu's U. I, I think it's just because I had a string of episodes in a row. Um, because, I, in my opinion, the Babu's U levels do get pretty difficult. Um, and there's so many of them that there's going to, you're eventually bound to find levels which just basically go completely counter to how you usually think. And are basically the sort of things that you find very difficult. Um, Yeah, I think it's just because I had like a string of four episodes in a row where basically I've had like four Eureka moments off camera <laughs> and I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I wish I had them on camera. Like, I wish, it, I guess it's sort of like um, my own idea of like an annoyance of like chasing after perfection to a certain degree where I'm just like, oh, I wish I had these, I wish I, these were, these videos were more entertaining because I was like, oh, you know, I came up with a solution on camera rather than off camera. <laughs> So yeah, I know, it was just a bit of self-reflection, which I was like, oh, you know, I don't really consider the fact that my approach to these sort of videos, uh, how, how differently, I suppose, I experience a game while also recording for them at the same time. You know, I don't see, there's not really much of a difference in the story games, I'll be perfectly honest, uh, with the exception that, um, well, with the exception that I'm more likely to use a guide to get, like, all the collectibles or things which I've missed. Um, which is perfectly fine. And if anything, I think it's a benefit because, you know, I, I'm, I've really come to discover I really don't care for exploration all that much in games. Um, well, not I don't care for exploration, but I don't care for retreading my steps for exploration. Um, I like to explore. The first time I'm in an area, love to explore it. I don't like going back for areas. So I'm perfectly fine with the, the sort of understanding that um, I'm totally fine with using a guide to find like all the other collectibles I missed along the way. Um, but. Yeah, I suppose this is the first time where it's actually started to come as maybe a negative. No, it's not making me be like, oh, I'm going to stop recording Babu's U. I love playing that game and I love recording at the same time, that sort of thing. It's just like a, a point of introspection, I suppose, for myself is what I mean. Where I'm sort of like, why does this bother me so much? Like, why can't, why don't I just play? I, I guess it's a sense of progress is also being halted at the same time. Because um, before the, the previous Babu's U, you know, I was, I was doing it extraordinarily well. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd go through like five or six levels every single episode, which is insane, insane pace. I, I am sort of self-aware from that point that um, the pace I, I, I go through some of the levels is pretty faster than average I would say but I am also kind of self-aware that I am pretty good at puzzle games and I do like logical puzzles and that so you know once I start sort of get on a roll it keeps going and I guess it's a sort of frustration 
that I'm coming to where I'm, I'm now the pace of how I the, the rate at which I'm solving puzzles now is basically one one puzzle per every half an hour episode which feels incredibly sluggish I suppose it was basically a huge sharp drop off we're now uh, the first time the first pass through I suppose through all the levels I was going at an incredibly fast rate and now I'm going back through the levels which stuck um, which uh, troubled me the first time through and obviously because they troubled me I'm now solving them way 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 slower it's a, it's a sort of moment of frustration both personally I'm trying to solve the puzzles uh, from that perspective but also from perspective that I'm it, I feel like it's suddenly like took a nosedive of entertainment value because it's entertaining you know when I, I actually solve a puzzle isn't it you get to sort of share share and joy where you're like oh yeah you know she did it she, she worked out what the thing was you know she came or maybe you came to her realization at the same time or even before me and you don't have to now sit through me sort of struggling to figure out exactly what to do at the same time i suppose it's a combination of both of those together making it suddenly feel like the flavor i suppose in babu's is very different now in these levels i'm just sort of like hmm I'm not really sure what to make of it. Is this a good thing or a bad thing, necessarily? And I don't think it's a, a bad thing. It's just a thing I need to sort of get used to. I need to sort of get into the mindset I'm retreading through the difficult levels. I'm retreading through levels which specifically were chosen. Uh, you know, if I want to reframe that, I suppose, from a different perspective. It's like someone came along and specifically were like, you're going to do these levels and I've chosen these levels because they specifically are difficult for you. <laughs> um, yeah, and I guess it's sort of a... Dist I'm sort of just working through that little bit of... It's not... Like, I don't want to make this seem like a big deal than it is, because it's not really that big a deal. It was just like sort of a moment of introspection where I, I stopped recording that video and being like, oh, I felt like I was more negative in that video than usual. <laughs> of course, more negative in my perspective is not really that negative. And like, I'm, I'm not swearing, I'm not like cursing out the game or anything. It was just sort of like, a, mm, you know, I did. I felt like I didn't bring that sort of like general enthusiasm I have for puzzles, which I normally try and bring in every single episode. It's more like I'm, I ended up feeling a little bit internally more like, hmm, it, it feels a bit off, you know? <laughs> That's what I want to And, you know, an Animal Crossing is a perfect place to sort of talk about this sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I don't really know if there's much of a solution. I am still going to continue um, trying to get these Eureka moments off camera rather than on camera necessarily. And that's mainly just because um, I don't want to sit there for like half an hour not doing anything. <laughs> I, I want to make sure that those moments... I, I basically make progress on camera and I suppose now I think about it it's kind of like tied up with my my dislike for retreading through places I've already been that's kind of what I'm doing right now is like I, I basically sort of like completed the game quote quote but now I'm retreading through levels which I've already been to and I suppose um the same way I like I didn't like doing it in the witness I probably shouldn't have done in the witness to be perfectly honest um trying to find all these environmental puzzles which really I I didn't really care for in the first place <laughs> um retreading through areas I've already explored um that's basically what I'm doing now except for it's less I suppose clear to me until you know I said it out loud right now because obviously witness you're going around a 3d space it's much more clear that you're going back to a previous area and trying to look through things that you've already looked through while Baba's you it's sort of like going back to a different level well it doesn't really feel the same as going retreading through a different area because their levels are sort of self-contained I suppose in a sense but really that's what it is <laughs> So I, I should give myself a little bit more leeway. I already, I've already established I don't like retreading through things I've already retreaded through. So that's probably, you know, starting to spark like a little bit of my um, discomfort, I suppose, of it. <laughs> I don't want to say like frustration because then you're going to get the wrong idea. Um, it's more like um, just a sort of like while it doesn't it doesn't appeal to me as much as it did before. And I'm sort of just like flan floundering, trying to be like, why, why what, 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 what suddenly lost the zeal, I suppose, for Babrosy. <laughs> and I haven't lost the zeal. I, I still want to complete the game. I still... I love it. And luckily I have a big backlog. So honestly, I, I think I probably could deal with like not recording it for quite a while. For maybe like a week or two. I've been going back into it, seeing how I'm doing. <laughs> because that's just good sort of like puzzle sec say, um, solving technique to often try and get a sort of a fresh perspective on that sort of thing. Um, I feel like I was, because, you know, it's sort of like an ongoing cycle where, you know, I do it and I couldn't solve the levels as what I wanted. So my mind sort of just constantly thinks about it. And then, you know, I, I record another sort of episode. Um, quite close to it, just trying to be like, you know, I want to solve these levels down. But really, that's just sort of feeding into a, a slight downward spiral, which, you know, you know, I'm saying to myself, break out of the spiral, you don't need to do it like that. You know, take a break, you know, breathe, and then come back to recording Barbara's you later, you know, when you're fresh and you've got that zeal for it, I suppose, again. So yeah, this is just sort of my moment of introspection, you know, this is my own <laughs> some, uh, therapy lesson therapy appointment it's not really therapy I mean it's just like trying to verbalize my feelings I suppose to babby you babbies you in that way um 
So yeah, pro progress has slowed down. Had had slowed down quite a lot in um, Baba's You. But I don't know. Coming at it from a content creator perspective, is it annoying? Not annoying, because um, I mean, it's probably not good to ask it in the Animal Crossing video because most of the people who watch Animal Crossing don't necessarily watch the puzzle videos. But um, I wonder if it is. Uh, I speculate if it is annoying to get the eureka moment of a content creator you're watching if they get that eureka moment off camera. <laughs> and you know, I I, di I didn't really do a good job of, of explaining. It, I suppose in the Baba's E level. Uh, episode like episode 49 I, like basically what happened was um i had a eureka moment sort of sort of eureka moment i basically came up with an idea for one of the levels and i tried to implement it in bad you episode 48 but then i couldn't actually get it to fruition like i i, I got I, I would say you know in retrospect i got 90 percent of the way there i couldn't figure out what the last 10 percent i had to do for the last 10 percent and then you know between recording the videos i i, I had a skim through basically um bad you episode 48 realized something which I knew but then like forgot about <laughs> which would have been that last 10% and then I started off the recording basically being like yo I know I said we were going to do this level but instead I, I realised what I did wrong in that previous level so now we're going to go back to it <laughs> I mean I, I just couldn't string together the words I wanted to to basically sort of express it I was like I'm I had a lot of thoughts, I suppose, in my head. <laughs> Basically trying to be like, oh, I'm annoyed that that Yuka moment was off camera. I'm also a little bit annoyed that it was something so simple at the same time, which I even explicitly talked about in the video, but then just, like, forgot. <laughs> but then also, like, yeah, I had, that was, like, the sort of the start of the, the, the level of introspection. Where I was, like, from a meta perspective, you know, from a content creating perspective. Uh, hold on, what are we doing? I'm just sort of walking around the island a bit aimlessly right now. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's chop some wood, I suppose, and get some coconuts. From a content creative perspective, I'm just like, oh, you know. It's like, isn't it kind of annoying when this Eureka moment was off camera? <laughs> or maybe it's not annoying. Maybe it's more annoying to see me sort of floundering about. It's a, it's a, bad, a diff difficult, difficult balance to get, I suppose, with um, puzzle games. Because it's annoying, I suppose, to a certain degree. To see the, the person you're watching be like, oh, you know, I solved it basically off camera rather than seeing um, that process happen on camera. But sometimes that's just inevitable when you think about levels and uh, when you're not necessarily recording them. But it's also annoying to see someone like struggle at something <laughs> for a, a heck of a long time, isn't it? You know, it's, I'm not going to say it was annoying necessarily because I feel like most people have a sort of sense of empathy where we'd be like, you know, that's just kind of how it is. That's how other games go. But it is boring, isn't it? <laughs> And um, this is probably, I suppose, a deficit where it comes in. The fact I don't edit, edit my videos. So for one, you see everything. But also on the downside, you see everything. It's boring to watch it. But um, if I actually edited my videos, that's where like, I'd sort of skip through the parts which are uninteresting. Or like I'd cut and jump cut uh, through things where I'm just like, I don't really make any progress. But because I don't do that, um, it's not just like a... Mm, I'm not really sure. Oh, you know what I need to do? We need to actually start buying... Um, Redeeming some of um, the Nook Mile ticket things from the ABD Hoddle. We can actually do it from from this, can't we? No, we can't. Because it turns out, in the 2.0 update, it added a lot of different um, Nook Mile furniture items. Which, one of them I wanted to use in one of the more recent Happy Home Paradise customization episodes. But I didn't have access to it because I never actually bought it from the... Um, I never redeemed it as a Nook Mile reward. And that's because I honestly didn't even know it was a Nook Mile reward. I didn't know there were new um, furniture items in this thing. So um, I'm going to do that now. I wonder if we can sort it by furniture items we've unlocked and which ones we haven't. I'm not sure which of these we have unlocked and which ones we haven't is a problem. My word, but there's a lot of them, isn't there? We have like details. Hmm. I guess it's the sort of thing where I need to basically just go separately and figure out um which ones I, I need to unlock and which ones I don't. Happy in paradise. Because <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to get one of all of these final choices. Okay, that's something I'll do off camera. Or I could do it now to be perfectly honest. I mean, I suppose we could do it. No, I, 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 um, I don't know if I'll do that off camera. That sounds like a lot of effort, I'm going to be perfectly honest. <laughs> at, the, at the very least, you know what? I, at the very least, I should, re I, re I should redeem the item I wanted. I know it was a car item. Um, oh, you know what? I could I can look up which items were new um, to the 2.0 update, because I definitely have not redeemed those. So let's see, car, Nokopedia. Mini car? No, luxury car. Mm 
Nook shopping. Wait, you can get you can get a mini car through Nook shopping? Really? Where? But but where? Oh, author from Paradise Planning Office. Oh. So I'm just reading the Wikipedia page from it. Oh, so we actually have to buy it in Paradise Planning to get it, right? Oh, this is the item. Not well, actually, it wasn't this item. It's actually a luxury car I wanted. But oh, is that, so I actually need to buy more of the Paradise Planning items. It turns out. Um, so let, let, let's touch some of these curved street light on Wikipedia because it will probably bring us to um Nook Stop. The Nook Stop. Which one of these are new in 2.0? Items. Ah, it's not. It doesn't source it by which ones were found in 2.0 update. Ah, well, okay. This, this is this may be something I'll do off camera. Maybe it won't be. I don't. I don't really know. Um. Yeah. I don't know. The Eureka moment is a big moment in a lot of sort of puzzle games, isn't it? Of course, Eureka named after the, what Archimedes. Discovering what Archimedes principle or whatever, the word displacement of water is equal to the volume. I think that's sort of it is. It's, it's a story which, you know, I was told when I was younger, but I didn't really understand the, the concept of it or what was going on. Because, I mean, when you when you tell it to, like, a four-year-old, it's not like a four-year-old really understands what, like, discoveries really are, I suppose, in a scientific, <laughs> and a scientific process, in a sort of sense. <laughs> like, I understand it was meant to be a big thing, but I didn't really understand what he was doing. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was meant to construct the coconut lamp, uh, the coconut drinks. Yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say about that sort of eureka moment. About those sort of recording videos at the same time. <laughs> I, I, I guess I just sort of worry from a content creating perspective. Like, I, I don't really enjoy, um, no, sorry, not, not I don't enjoy it. I do enjoy making videos, but I don't really worry about, um, if, I enjoy, uh, I suppose, the game or not, because I have been enjoying the game all the time. I just sort of, I suppose my primary worry tends to be from a sort of um, content creating perspective now, when I record these videos, because that's the only thing I worry about when I, because I only tend to play games which I enjoy. I mean, if I stop, if I don't like playing the game, I sort of just like stop playing it. And honestly, making videos for it, even in moments where um, I stopped enjoying playing the game necessarily, uh, was fun. Like, um, for example, um, I think the example I always give is in the Pantheon of Hollow Nest in Hollow Knight was probably the most annoying, I suppose, challenge, which I ended up doing. <laughs> probably because it just lasted so long. Like I spent so long in the, the, the God the God Seeker DLC and it was just a boss rush. And I do like boss rushes, but it was too much. It was so much of fighting the same boss over and over and over again. And there's incredibly long videos just to basically make no progress if I died at the very final boss again. <laughs> um, so that wasn't particularly enjoyable, but it sort of like gave me another a video series to just talk absolute nonsense about <laughs> over and over again, you know? It basically gave me another Animal Crossing, which is why I kind of enjoyed it in the first place. So that, that's the sort of moment where, you know, recording videos made it like um more enjoyable. I just worry, I just don't want it to be the case where recording a video is actually taking away from my enjoyment of the game. And I don't think it should do. Like, um, it, there can be a healthy balance, obviously. And it's a, the sort of situation where I'm like, you know, upon reflection, I don't think it's taking away from my enjoyment of the game. I think it's just I need to sort of reframe my perspective and understand that the situation is going to be different from um, how I usually play the game. And how I understand it and how I am um, interface of it is, is different. And that's okay. And, you know, a little bit of introspection. Am I okay with that difference? Am I okay with it being like a completely different experience? And upon reflection, yeah, I am okay with this difference. It's just because it was different in... And I suppose, you know, it sort of like, not unsettled me, it sort of made me go, hmm, I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> if I'm approaching it, but really, no. From my reflection, I think it's fine. <laughs> anyway, that, that was sort of my, um, advertising for the Bav is You Let's Play. Certainly watch it up to, like, if, if you want to be like, whoa, dear darling, you're so good at puzzle games. And you want to, like, I don't know, flatter me, which, you know, I, I won't accept your flattery, but, <laughs> well, no, more like I won't, um, get swayed by your flattery but I'll accept it anyway you know graciously as I can what I suppose watch up to episode 45 or so and be like whoa you're acing us and then from 48 onwards you can sort of 
um, of, no, from 46 onwards, you can sort of share in my own sort of difficulties and challenges, I suppose, as I uh, record, try and solve these puzzles, which are honestly quite difficult. <laughs> I suppose Varen does live for fun. <laughs> and, you know, it's easy to forget that when you're in the moment. Again, too caught up trying to be like, oh, how entertaining is it for a Barrow's you video? But oh well. Um... I can't really remember what I was going to say about this, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I suppose one benefit, the fact that uh, the rate of me solving these videos has slowed way, way down, is the fact that um, now when I actually the title of videos is very easy. I can just title the vi title um, the Barbara Z video exactly what level I solved <laughs> in that level uh, in that in that recording is, you know, it's certainly. It's not easier than, you know, having to do chicories one, trying to find out new, like, <laughs> art, artistic related terms to title every single episode, which somehow relate to exactly what's going on in the actual video itself. It's not easy, mind you. It's very easy, um, um, very difficult for Talis Principle, where I did a very similar thing, except for with philosophical and religious concepts. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll sort of just round this episode off here. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, you know, this is, again, a quite selfish episode where I sort of just talked about what I thought and, you know, sorted out what my own thoughts were on certain perspective on things. But anyway, we're going to round off this episode here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, subscription shares, I'd greatly appreciate it. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord, follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.